territory and we can we're asserting our jurisdiction over our territory. Okay, sorry, I'm two, so you cannot talk to me like that, okay? So I'm gonna have someone, but you cannot stay there. Yeah. It's a park, you know? So you cannot it's stay not there. A park. This is our territory. No. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. It is. We're here for a ceremony. You're not going to disrupt it. You can go around over here. <laughs> that when I use this pipe, it's not for me. It's for the people. So they can put their arms together and make a full circle. So when I light this pipe, I ask you all to join hands and close the circle to make it strong, because when the circle is closed, you can't break it. So here on this day, in uh, Kanyakahaga, Kanasadaga territory, we the Kanyakahaga people of Kanasadaga are gathered here today to assert our authority and jurisdiction upon our unceded traditional lands and territory. Settlers call this part of Kanasadaga Park Nacional do Ka. However, we have never surrendered our rights to our ancestral lands and resources. We are here today to remind the government of Canada, Quebec, and the authorities of this fact. Kanasadaga existed long before Europeans arrived in the Americas and is amongst the oldest Kanyakahaga communities, part of the Iroquois Confederacy. We call upon Canada and Quebec to stop their illegal actions in colluding to defraud the Kanyakahaga of Kanisadaga of our lands, territory and resources. We oppose the illegal theft and appropriation of our lands and resources to third-party interests such as Gazozook, Canada, Enbridge and other developers. The continued dispossession of Unguihunwe peoples Indigenous peoples throughout the through the appropriation of our lands and resources by Canada and Quebec for unauthorized development is unacceptable. The Kanyakahaga Mohawks of Ganasadaga have for many generations informed the government of Canada that it can no longer tolerate the delay in settling our long-standing historical grievances. 24 and a half years after the so-called 1990 OFA crisis, we have found that we are further than ever from obtaining justice for our historical grievances. Canada continues to defraud the Kanyakahaga and other indigenous peoples of our lands, territories, and resources by outlawing our traditional form of governance, the Longhouse Haudenosaunee, who have been forbidden from negotiating with Canada <coughs> and, its pro and its provinces. Consequently, Canada <coughs> and all Crown actors continue to appropriate Kanyakahaga lands through coercion and oppressive colonial laws without free, prior, and informed consent, causing further dispossession and alienation from our traditional lands and resources. Development like companies like TransCanada, Enbridge, Gazozik, and GBD construction violate the land rights of the Ganasadaga and Mohawks and threaten the health of the environment through colonial laws that bypass the principle of free, prior, and informed consent. No consultations with the Kanyakahaga peoples has taken place by any of the aforementioned companies. We are extremely concerned with these illegal developments since we have witnessed various environmental catastrophes like the pipeline bursts on Lubicon land and most recently on the Athabasca River as well as, as, well as last year's Lac Megantic catastrophe that caused death and destruction. The lack of protection that colonial laws have for the environment and all life validate our concerns that extractive industries threaten the safety and the well-being for all our relations. The United Nations Special Rapporteur on, on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, James Anaya, told the UN Human Rights Council in Geneva, in its prevailing form, the model for advancing with natural resource extraction within the territories of indigenous peoples appears to run counter to the self-determination of indigenous peoples in the political, social, and economic spheres. In Kwahume, indigenous peoples' rights are protected under various human rights instruments and norms, including the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. We call upon Canada and Quebec to honor its obligations to UN Charter 
and all other various human rights instruments within the UN which promote and protect the human rights of indigenous people. Our goal is to preserve and promote and protect Mother Earth for present and future generations. Development must be sustainable and leave the environment as healthy and prosperous as when it begins. According to our customary laws, it is the women who are vested with the title and custody of the land, culture and people. As well, it is the obligation of the men to protect the people. As of the Sunni peoples, we are obliged under our customary laws to ensure that we uphold this sacred right and obligation. We are re reiterating for many generations of Kanyakahaga peoples that have stated to Canada, Great Britain and other settler states that it is within our rights and authority. In fact, it is our duty and obligation that we protect the land, people, all our relations and our resources for the present generation and for those who are not yet born. We do so in, in the spirit of peace and friendship and respect and love for all our relations, the land and all of you gathered here today.